plumberparts.co.uk. Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. This is the first ever video that I'm going to do a thing called Ask the Plumber. Mad, isn't it? So, firstly, let's get down to it. If you want to ask the plumber, that's me, yeah? You need to go to Twitter or Facebook or YouTube and then you can ask a question on any of the YouTube videos we've ever done. Just comment in that particular video's comment section. And if we think it's good enough, we'll pick it out. You'll get your name read out, even if it's some stupid goggity goop number. <laughs> we will read it out, okay? And it'll be great. So, you can either follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, I'll leave links to both those at the end of these videos or obviously go to YouTube. Failing that you can go to our website at plumberparts.co.uk and ask the question there. Here is our first question. I'm going to get out my iPad now. First up we've got a comment from a guy called Bertie Bollocks. Been a bit long since last up we missed you. Blop! We replied no worries dude. Back now regards PP which is abbreviation for plumber parts. 007 Mull, or Mull, or whatever you want to say, butts rudely into our conversation and says, why do you never use jointing compounds on compression joints? Love your vids, by the way. Well, thank you. Because compression fittings generally don't need that kind of thing. They're an insurance against leaks. But if I'm going to be putting them in a place where I don't think I'll be able to get to them again, then I'll definitely use it. You should be able to tighten the fitting up and it not leak. So it really depends how I feel that day, whether I got out of bed right, whether England took any wickets, or whether I got a score at cricket. Next comment is from Ward9. Dave, you were awesome, man. Me and Ward Jr. were going to rip the old one out and have a go. My name's not Dave, it's James. So I'm not going to ask you a question. Sorry, mate. Now, Hawkey the New comes in. He's going on about pressurised systems. We've got a link to that video at the end of this one. Am I getting something wrong here? Spelt wrong. In, this, in the instructions to refill the system, you say pressurise to one and a half bar, then bleed the rats. Then at the end, when you recap, you say never pressurise a system to more than one bar. So, do I pressurise to one and a half bar when I refill, but bring it back to one before I switch on, or should I never pressurise to one bar? Number one, that's an incredibly complicated way of asking a really simple question. I'm going to give you a simple answer anyway. Don't worry, Hawkey the New, I'm only taking the wee wee out of you. Basically, always pressurise a system cold to one bar, and that's how you leave it. But if you know you've got air to bleed out of the radiators, there's no harm in over-pressurising it to one and a half or even two bar, letting the air out of the radiators and then going back to your gauge and making sure it's dropped down. The rule of thumb is to leave the system on a cold pressure of one bar. Jeff's 3813 has got a question about how to silicon a bath, a link to that at the end as well. What is that silicon tool you're using? Never seen that before, blood. Oh my god. Uh, basically, mate, I'm only taking the wee out of you. I love it. I love the more stuff people put into comments, the better. Basically, the silicon tool we're using is a standard former tool. You can get them at Screwfix, I think. What I'll do, I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can click on that, and that should take you directly to the product you need. Right, and then we've got a question from Ross F. It's one of those questions. Sorry, Ross, but it is. My kitchen is on the front of the house. I need my tap on the back. What do I do? I'll leave you plumber people who follow me all the time to answer that question, okay? Or I'll just say, put your tap on the back of your house and get your pipe to it somehow. And if you can't, I'm so sorry about that dude. Put the tap out the front and run a hose around. I don't know. I hope you've enjoyed this very first Ask the Plumber stuff. The more questions we get and how we build this up is going to be all down to you. So if you've got any questions, let us know and comment or ask us in the ways that I described earlier on. And as ever, subscribe to the videos if you want. Uh, remember to come back. We will be doing, there are more instructional videos coming up. I've had a pretty crazy couple of days. I'm married now to some insane woman who must be bonkers. Remember people, come back soon. We love you a lot. Uh, I'm gonna flush the toilet now, even though I, you guys know I haven't done a poo or a wee, even though I might have done in my shorts. Um, yeah, so remember people to hold tight throughout the night. And on the other side you have tear. Uh, done outside There's now. a small trade valve or a pipe sure penny about 15 So that you can pump the air back Plumberparts.co.uk. Plumber